and to send it to the team in Dominican Republic so that to reach our Spanish viewers. So for this person, uh, we have a uh, he and I have some go go a long way back. Um, Brother Jian Ming from Jia Yi will be our reader today. Jian Master, a bow master, and the online family members. I wish you all a good day. I am Jian Ming from Jia Yi. Now I'd like to share with you the winter ver winter edition. Uh, of Master's Footprints, which teaching us the grand lessons and the importance of eating. Now, it's in, co in coincides with Brother who was sharing earlier about the climate change. Now, as we know, there are multiple forces, forces in the atmosphere, forces on, in the earth, even forces among people. These forces are shapeless and invisible, but you can feel it if you are mindful around, you can feel it around you if you're mindful. Now, karma is also a kind of force as well, because it is a culmination, a joint together of actions people have taken throughout the ages. In the past couple of years, COVID-19 is a force of illness as well. Even though it's invisible, it spreads around, it spreads around along with the karma people have created. So to help stop this spread, the best way is to a plant-based diet. So what is vegetarian diet? Master has taught us that vegetarian is a clean, pure, and simple way of nourishing ourselves. Vegetarian diet is to eat cleanly. Every food that we consume every day is clean and is beneficial to us. So we know that vegetarian diet is a solution to this pandemic, and that has been repeatedly taught us. And we're constantly reminding people the impact of what we eat. As we teach people to be pious, piously or sincerely maintain a wholesome love of this. Now, how do we create a wholesome love? That is to loving and nurturing all life and refrain from killing. The reason why is all life forms has a sense of Buddha and, and the, the essence is is goodness. So if we cherish our own life, then we must cherish the life of all animals. Just like, for example, Yi Nian, which is this young, just young kid, but his Buddha nature is no less than ours. It's so pure and so clean. Our spiritual cultivation has always been focusing on returning to our pure intrinsic nature. Uh, removing layers and layers of dust like ignorance that has long covered the inner nature that is within us. So I'd like to share with you this clip uh, from Dai News. So even though he's three years old, he has been joining his parents. And ever since he was young, he would love to follow Master. Even while he was crawling around, he would go find Master. Now, before that, he doesn't really know how to use a broom. So now, so I will help him by giving him together so he can put it into the dustbin. Now, there are ants here that I have to let them and let them go first. So we have to, we have to sweep gently and we must love all life. And my broom won't harm little ants. Now also pick up leaves. As we see, the green ones won't come down as it will only come down when it turns orange. Now it in the prayer prior to the volunteer assembly has been a daily routine for Yin. Now today, I joined the sutra learning and I prayed and I give Master a hug because Masters are very good to me. 
Now, he's also been active in collecting donations for Haitian disaster relief uh, after the, the earthquake. So, and I pray that that hearts be pure and the world free of disasters. Now, as we hear from him that spiritual cultivation is the best way to protect ourselves, even though he is speaking, even though he's so young, he's able to speak with such wisdom. Now, Master was very grateful that everyone shared the same goal of promoting vegetarian diet that helped to nurture our loving heart and removing our afflictions as well as broadening our wisdom. And besides having a vegetarian diet, we also have to focus on spiritual cultivation and develop our characters. So let's watch a little video from Master. Sita 在国际间发现到了行善容易那这如树难啊那我们亲爱的家人，你如数了吗？So how do we protect our earth? The best way is vegetarian diet. Now, to our dear family, are you taking on a vegetarian diet? Because it is not just a way to protect ourselves; it is also to protect the world. Taking this the advantage of this opportunity to encourage people to adopt a plant-based diet, because vegetarian diet can help promote this great love. Now, the sky protects and the earth nurtures all life. So as humans living in this world, we must learn to love and protect all life as well. As we can see from this picture here, it shows us how many lives we consume in a year through this mouth that we, that we eat. If we're able to learn from this opportunity and take the opportunity to promote vegetarian diet, then we can ensure that all lives are able to live happily on Earth. So eating is a very important thing. If we're able to solve eating, then we can truly help and see clean, clean air. Now, climate change, climate combating climate, a reducing carbon footprint cannot just be a footprint. We must take action to to reach that goal. So facing the global ch climate change, in we have constantly reminded people to reduce their reduce their carbon footprint to recycle, and that the reason why is because there will only have one Earth, one world that we live in. If we don't do it now, it won't be. It won't be enough in the future. So we hope that this great lessons we, we learn from it. We must make this make use of this opportunity to educate, teaching people to have the same thought of sincerely holding a vegetarian diet, and let us sincere prayers reach Buddha and Bodhisattva so that our pandemic can ease. And we have to use this thought to sincerely uphold vegetarianism and let our thoughts reach all Buddha and Bodhisattvas. And let the world be a sustainable world for all of our kids. And that will be all my sharing today. Thank you all.
So as we can see from from Brother Chen, Chen's sharing, 